Welcome guys to a brand new video on Black Clover Mobile. Now in today's video what I want to do is go over 5 particular characters that I believe you guys should be saving your resources for. You need to make sure you always have resources to get this unit. Now there's a couple of disclaimers I want to go over which is we don't know whether the characters are going to have the same skills when it comes to global. The reason why I say that is because certain characters are getting buffed. So you never know they might do a nerf for certain characters as well or they might do a buff for some of the other characters that are currently obscure are not really worth summoning so that they can get some more money so we don't know what's going to happen in the future but I, it is more likely that certain characters will get a buff when they come out to global version and then in the kr and jp they will get like an updated um, buff later on for those characters as well so i'm going to talk about the current characters that are absolutely amazing but like i said in the future there might be one character that gets a buff that actually becomes absolutely meta and might become a character to summon for now i remember this okay actually let's start off with the first character now i remember this character i wasn't playing black clover on mobile at this time but i just saw the community literally blow up when this character was released and that is noel um noel swimsuit the swimsuit version she is a season two character now we don't actually know how fast the banner is going to be moving in the global version we don't know how much resources or will we be able to farm before each banner comes out but i'm hoping these banners don't come at a very fast pace so that it gives enough time for us to actually save but noel noel swimsuit is an important character and in my opinion a must summon when she comes out so let's quickly take a look at her skills so skill one over here is an aoe ability it, um, basically if you have a barrier attack after applying uh weapon enhancements to yourself if you have the blessing of water attacked after applying weapon enhancements to yourself now this is uh use the to create clouds of spray dealing damage to all enemies now to understand this part you need to look at the other skills so taking a look at the um skill healing which is skill two um grants all allies a buff using water magic and the buff is known as blessing of water so you kind of understand why skill one is worded this way so grants a designated ally blessing of water equal to 100 percent um magical attack for two turns Gener grants all allies and barrier equal to 100 percent um attack for two turns and grants all allies 10 percent increased favor damage for two turns now this ones are two oh um for all allies and this one is a designated ally but essentially you want to use the skill two first before you even think of using skill one because as you can see if you have a barrier apply weapon enhancement a weapon enhancement basically increases damage done by 30 percent increases damage done by 40 percent so you make sure you use skill two and then follow on with skill one which is an aoe damage to the enemy which is insane so it has the ability to create a barrier that grants immunity to fixed amount of damage and counter attacks upon being attacked this is going to be absolutely amazing amazing in pvp and as well as pve if the enemy for fails to remove your barrier on the first attack you will get to perform a counter attack this is essentially going to be absolutely amazing if you guys have played well counter attacking characters are usually very very strong um so i really like this ability uh, so barrier creates a barrier that blocks a fixed amount of damage increase favorite attacks increase favorite damage done so um she is a fire type or power type sorry so when it says favored damage any damage she does to the opposing element that she has a um, increased damage to so power over the blue one basically um yeah she has a benefit she has an increased damage to blue type in um so increased favor damage is to all allies so if your ally is a green type in they'll deal more damage to blue type in and blah 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 you understand that skill and then going over to her special skill basically it has the ability to increase um magical attack by uh magical attack to herself and then she attacks and uh, this is actually good is because she gets the buff first and then she attacks most games when they do a buff sometimes it's applied after attacking so the damage she do um the, those characters do do not actually have that benefit of that extra buffing but the fact that you get your you give yourself a buff first and then you attack is actually very very strong um also grants herself increased m attack even more so her damage is going to be insane she also has barrier effects to your allies as well which is very very amazing um going over to the combined attack is an aoe as well basically increases damage 
done so if you have a buff attack after applying 15 percent increased damage to yourself and then going over to the passive over here at the start of the wave grants yourself a barrier equal to 10 percent of damage taken for two turns so technically you can still use skill one because of this passive um because you'll be able to apply weapon enhancement to yourself so that's actually not bad as well now in terms of unique passive the second one this is when you get dupes for her so it applies 10 percent increase in magical attack to herself so overall this is a character in my opinion that you must summon for save your resources for this particular character she literally broke the game when she was released in the kr slash jp version okay um so that is noel right now so the next character we're going to be taking a look at is gonna be uh fauna so let's go ahead actually there's two faunas in this game but the one we want to focus on is fauna the hateful so where is she i actually love fauna when she was introduced in the game um, in the anime i was kind of upset that she got the street set straight away but whatever so this is fauna the hateful she's a newly released character so we do have a while before this character even gets added into the global version but let's take a look at what she can do so she is a attacker type um, so the skill one over here is a single target one applies one stance of hatred to self when using a special skill perform an extra attack that deals increased damage based on the number of hatred stacks um, and then attacks after granting 35% of increased damage dealt buffed if an enemy has an active taunt so if you're in pvp and the character is using taunt so mars uh she basically does increase damage to that unit so um from this you basically just know that she's increasing her attack uh, or damage um she's gonna be a character you probably want to stack the hatred um going over to skill 2 aoe character uses min mineral water and salamander flame to hit actually no i don't really use that and so, read that sorry so applies two instances of hatred to self inflicts burn to an enemy dealing continuous damage for two turns so hatred is going to be one of the main important uh skill for her so yeah dot damage over there special skill over there is uh inflicts barrier removal on a random ally this is a special skill and it's aoe so this can actually counter um what's her face no noel actually and the fact that's as long as you have the barrier i believe you counter attack with noel so if fauna uses a special kill and um, special skill that's able to remove that that essentially removes the kit from um, noel so inflicts barrier removal and does even more damage damn dispel a barrier this is pretty cool pretty good attack actually going over to combine attack only attacks the enemy who applies this uh so inflicts taunts to an enemy for one turn so you can focus your attack on one specific enemy and then her first passive over here if hatred stacks five times you basically want to stack hatred guys max hp set to one percent and grant self the immor mortality buff for one turn at the end of a turn away end of a wave grants 50 percent of max hp as recovery so not only is she going to be dealing insane amount of damage she also has a passive that actually helps her survive she is a absolutely nutty character i love this so she is a power typing right no no she isn't she's a sense typing uh green uh noel was the red type in actually anyways going over to her unique passive in an ally has the sense attribute grants uh status and status element immunity to all allies for one turn at the beginning of the battle so this is probably going to be very unique and important in pvp um so yeah this is fauna's design she is absolutely amazing i loved her when she was introduced in the anime literally so sad that she's no longer like a prominent important character anyways that is coming in at number two with fauna now actually there is one character besides noel that i would say is a must summon as well now obviously fauna hate a4 was very very good and it's definitely worth well should be saving your resources for but julius is where it is at julius is an absolutely must summon character save your resources for him he's an attack typing and he's a technique unit so let's take a look at his skills so basically applies five percent decreased stamina to an enemy if this attack is a critical hit applies a five percent increased stamina to all allies so uh debuffing and buffing at the same time going over to skill 2 which is an aoe um 50 chance to inflict time stop to an enemy for two turns grant self increased speed level three for one turn so uh disables the effect of skill 2 and increases its cooldown by 
one turn so this is the enemy and it's an aoe you know how important this is going to be in pvp literally nutty and also has the ability to increase speed speed is literally the main important stat for pvp the fact that it buffs up um his speed is insane going over to the special skill stuns the enemy for one turn applies 20 percent decreased stamina to an enemy and gains an extra turn if the attack kills an enemy um special skill he's an attacker attack stat is probably pretty high um you're probably going to use characters to buff up his damage as well so yeah you're hoping to kill with his special skill as well to grant himself extra turn to just keep spamming that skill i'm um, going over to combine attack upon having a buff attack after applying 30 percent increased damage to self um wait attacks after applying why would you want to do that applies 10 percent decreased damage to the enemy so increased damage done decreases mobility for a fixed amount okay uh, and in this first passive when you die for the first time in a battle use regeneration or regression sorry and return to life with 45 percent of max hp this effect can only be activated once per battle you already know why this is going to be good for pvp and pve cheesing stages could be this could be a very good skill uh, for each uh, unique passive sorry for each 15 speed gain three percent increased damage so this is going to be very nice for pvp that increased speed will basically increase his damage and obviously speed is very important so this is going to be nutty absolutely nutty skill so this is julius and in my opinion a character you want to save your resources for um after julius the next character we want to talk about is uh where is noel halloween where is she at now with terms of the halloween characters i'm guessing can they just release them randomly or are they going to wait for the halloween season to next year i don't think they should do that i think they just should just release them um but this is the noel halloween and uh, this is the rating over here so let's take a look at her skills as well so extend buff duration um debuff duration sorry has the ability to reduce the special points that can be used for combined attack and special skill this is actually one of the few characters that can do that i believe so uh you already know why this is important some characters deal extra damage or special skill are very important in some characters kit so being able to basically stop them from being able to use that is essentially amazing um going over to skill two is a single target one basically reduces m attack by 50 52 percent which is a huge debuff uh only attack the basically applies inflicts taunts to an enemy and reduce the special points that can be used for combined attack and special points again so you already know why this is very important in pvp there's certain characters that just want to nuke as fast as possible with their special skill so having um noel over here has the ability to stop that from happening that is going to be very very important um, going over to the special skill reduce the special points that can be used okay same thing again very very nutty removes all buffs as well it's only a single okay the main issue with her in my opinion is that it's only single attack for all of her skills which in pvp actually if there was aoe that would be absolutely broken so she is still a top tier character guys um but i do have one issue with her kit let's quickly take a look at uh actually as you can see she can decrease damage by 35 percent four percent as well um at the start of, so this is the passive at the start of the wave inflicts a 30 percent increased damage taken debuff to all enemy nice for pvp and pve when attacks remove continuous hp buff from all enemies as well so any healers this is going to stop them you already know this is actually baked for pvp this is a character that is literally built for pvp obviously pve as well but damn um at the end of the oh at the start of the battle inflicts a 40 percent reduced damage dealt debuff on attack class inflicts for one turn this is literally good very very good skill and she looks actually cool as well so yeah another in the world you want to be summoning for or saving for guys oops i didn't mean to do that let's quickly go back to here um and then i said five characters actually there might be six characters i want to talk about actually no there's five it's five the next character we're going to take a look at is charlotte the ceremony version who is also a newly released character so season six as you can see season six character so it's a while before we're going to get this character and uh I think actually not really i think they might actually speed up the banner um, re release so i say it's a while but probably like four months maybe five months they might release that in the game anyways um increase special points 
that can be used for combined attack and special skill that's nutty uh increased special points that can be used for combined attack so basically allows you to regain your sp fast basically uh debuff immunity as well this is a creates single allies only it's one ally uh grants all allies a 30 percent reduction in damage grants a defense penetration buff as well and if an ally has a barrier grants them an extended barrier duration wait a minute she is what type is she's a sense okay okay um passive every turn grants the ally with the highest all attack a barrier equal to 50 percent of own max hp um so grants if an ally has a barrier grants them an extend barrier duration by one turn huh this can also pair well with the noel um the swim suit version as well but this is a special skill so it's not like you're going to be able to spam this too much um but that's good if all allies belong to the sense attributes at the beginning of the battle grants all allies 50 80 percent of own max hp as a barrier so essentially with this character you def well if you get these the dupes required to unlock this unique passive you want to build her with a sense team basically and uh yeah in my opinion a solid character as well let me just quickly just uh, so sense characters all oh, charlotte and fauna would work absolutely amazingly together uh hatred yeah she also has the healing as well so fauna and charlotte could potentially be like not immortal but obviously but this could be a very very good team together um let's go to you can also use mimosa as well for the healing so nice and then raya is a good character but i i hate his gameplay and that's why i don't include him in this uh in this video it's really only really good for new kin and that in my opinion is not as important as the other characters i mentioned anyways that should be it regarding all the characters you should be saving for now this is just like the core selective characters that are very very important and you should get there's a bunch of other good characters that okay are going to be good in game but like i said we don't know what's going to happen when they release in the global version are they going to get buffed are they going to, are they going to get nerfed and whatnot uh, i doubt nerf is, nerf is going to happen but a buff is going to most likely happen to some of the underused characters so maybe jack over here will get a buff um that just makes him even better anyways that is it for today's video guys don't forget to like and subscribe to you for more content on black clover mobile it's me your boy az gamer and i'm out